ready. Okay. So again, we have done jenna arm, jenna belian, jenna jalan, jenna pulangan belian, pulangan jalan. And in last class, uh, I've done jenna penerimaan tunai and jenna pembayaran tunai with you. Okay. And also buku tunai. Isn't it? Okay. So in this class, I will have to finish the buku tunai runtit. Uh, runtit. Okay, so bum, bum, bum. so you can see. So now is this one buku tunai runtit. So before we start doing the question, let's look at the format. So this is the format, the buku tunai runtit format. So it's a little bit similar to your buku tunai. Same thing, all right. You got tare, you got butil, uh, folio, number voucher. If there is number, okay. If solan bagi number voucher, then you put one column for it. If you look at the solan, if there is no number voucher, then we can skip this part, okay. And then important is this one: penerimaan, pembayaran, and after that you got a analysis bayaran. What is this analysis bayaran? So normally there are four posts. Tambang, alat tulis, belanja am, and sometimes they will give you per baga as well. Okay, so this analysis, can you see a bayaran here? Okay, so this analysis is to, to analyze or to show uh, what is this bayaran for? Is it for post? Then you put post. Is it for tambang? What is tambang? By the way, tambang means transport. Okay, tambang means transport. What do you mean by transport? Like let's say you uh you use grab car. Okay, you need to pay for the grab fare. You no, know? parking. Uh, you park in your uh let's say you go to the shopping mall, you need to pay for the parking. So parking is part of the tambang. All right, so all this related berkaitan dengan transport, then kita masukkan dalam tambang. Okay, and then alat tulis. All right, I'm sure. A lot of uh, most of you know what is or all of you know what is alat tulis, right? Anything like paper, kertas, pencil. Okay, belanjaan will be uh, other than these three things. Okay, yang belanja, then you put dalam sini. Okay, sometimes they if either they give belanjaan atau berbagai. Okay, if ada belanjaan normally they don't have the berbagai thing. All right, so normally it's just this four. Okay. So let's do a question, then you understand how to do this stuff. Okay, so question nine. CWN Co. menyimpan buku tunai runcit mengikut sistem panja. Buku tunai runcit and sistem panja bermula 1st October 2019. One permulaan RM250 diperuntukkan sebagai dana tunai runcit. Uh, penerimaan wang daripada ketua juru wang dilakukan pada awal bulan berikutnya. Penggunaan wang dalam bulan uh, Oktober 2019 adalah seperti berikut. So, these are all the penggunaan wang. Alright. Uh, all the expenses that you pay uh, for. Alright. The pen, pencil, alas, major, blam, 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 blam. Okay. And then, Sediakan buku tunai runcit sehingga 31st Oktober 2019 meaning uh, one satu bulan lah okay we need to do satu bulan punya uh, buku tunai runcit for Oktober satu bulan from 1st Oktober sampai when 31st Oktober okay dengan menggunakan ledger okay now here they will give you dengan ledger alat tulis belanja post and belanja pajak meaning these three things are the item that we need to include in the uh, belanja analysis or sorry analysis belanja so analysis belanja okay if you don't understand no worries i will show you now so take out your notebook okay so you guys following if yes give me a btr in the chat box for buku tunaruji Not BTS, ah, bro. <laughs> it's BTR. Okay. Let's go. 
question nine. Uh, the format. All right. So, for, so you have Dare. No, Dare Butiran always the same in the beginning. But Dare Butiulana plus two Foliola. Now, in this solan, did you see any numbo number? Non numbo voucher other that? No. Gun. Okay, if they give, they will show here. All right, but there is no number voucher, therefore we can skip this part. Hey, let me show you the format. Mm. Yeah, this one. You see? So this part we can skip it because there's no number voucher. Then we go to Penerimaan. Debit. Then pembayaran credit okay then this is a analysis bayaran no what and under the analysis by a run okay we don't follow this one because in the questions already given yeah, what are the three under here? So you use a lot to list. So put here a lot to list. Okay, then belanja post. All right, belanja post. Okay, and then the third one is belanja pejabat. Belanja pejabat. Yeah, that no. Okay. Is that put in zero? Then line. Okay. Well, this is where so it's the same thing as your format here. Is it? And of course, don't forget your title. Buku Tunai Runcit BTR, not BTS. Okay. Good to know. Okay. So, Tarik, Turan, Folio, Penerimaan, Pembayaran, Analysis Bayaran, Alat Tulis, Penerja uh, Post. All these three will be given in the question. Okay. Are you guys ready? Okay, have you done up until here? If yes, give me a nine in the chat box. Sembilan. <coughs> okay, make sure you got a ring in Malaysia. And which year is this one? 2019 is the same, you see? Or the first row, normally you put the, the year and the currency. Okay, 2019, RM, RM, RM. 
Okay, the rest are you done for up until here? The table, the outline. If yes, give me nine. Only these few people may one more nine. No, lagi sembilan banyak lagi. Okay. I give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, before I continue. So here you, you see I highlighted three part. One, two, three. So one, obviously, Bukutuan Runchit, you know what this is. So this is a Bukutuan Runchit, meaning we need to do something. Panggi uh, Bukutuan Runchit. And the second thing is, what is this system panja? Okay, so I need to take some time to explain the concept of system panja. Okay, so this system panja is like, um, how do I say it? Okay, so I give you chonto. Ah. Okay, I didn't explain it. I give you chonto first. Okay, so let's say I have a son. His name is Bob. Okay, so I'm the dad. Lah. All right, so when you have a son, what is he going to do? He's going to ask for allowance from me. All right, so maybe every, every month or every year, I need to give Bob allowance. Okay, uh, maybe 50 ringgit, satu minggu. Okay, that's like back then uh, I received like, in primary school, I received how much? Uh, I so forgotten. Uh, maybe... 20 ringgit, okay? But when I went to high school, I think about 10 ringgit per day, okay? Because you need to eat uh, in the canteen, like two meals a day, I think 10 ringgit is uh, barely enough for back then, okay? I don't know about now. Okay, so, but I'm not the, the normal parents, okay, that give straight away 10 ringgit, okay? Every, every week, I give 200, 200, 200. Okay, maybe I function a different way. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I tell Bob, okay, I will put two, uh, so let's say 100 ringgit, okay, in a box. Listen carefully, uh, I'll put 100 ringgit in a box. So then it's like maybe in the living room, 100 ringgit, okay, for Bob. Okay, so Bob can use this 100 ringgit. Okay, maybe every week. Okay, I'm giving 100 ringgit to Bob every week. Okay, but how it work is Bob will use this 100 ringgit. Okay, so use, use, use. Okay, maybe at the, maybe, I uh, mean, let me list out maybe 10 ringgit for food. Okay, 20 ringgit for tetare. I know it doesn't make sense, but just example. All right. Then another 10 ringgit, I mean, sorry, 20 ringgit, you go and watch movie with friends. Okay, so you total up how much? So 10 plus 20 plus 20, that's 50 ringgit of upper pembayaran. You pay 10 ringgit for food, 20 ringgit for theater rate, and another 20 ringgit for movie. So what is the balance? Now, the balance here will be 100 ringgit minus 50. The balance is 50 ringgit. Are you following? If yes, give me a 50 in the chat box. Five zero. Okay. Just to make sure you are understanding the, the example now. All right. Okay. So now, what is this system panja? The system panja is when I go and check the box and see hey, a box in it for Bob only got 50 ringgit left in the box. Okay, by the end of the week, all right, on, on Sunday, meaning from Monday, some by Sunday, so on Sunday, only got 50 ringgit. So what I'm going to do now is, okay, my limit is set at 100 ringgit. So I have to top up another how much to get 100 ringgit. So I see it, only got 50 ringgit. Okay, lah, now I'll take out my own 50 ringgit and put into the box and add top up another 50 ringgit to it to make it 100 ringgit. 
So this is system budget. So for system budget, always they will give you an amount. Like K will be 250. The one per moon is 250. So I have to make sure that by the end of the month, I have to top up the figure to make it 250. I don't care how much kita yang telah bayar, but at the year end, I have to top up the figure. All right, to make it 250. Like for question 10 is also system banja, uh, pukul tuan ringgit. So the one per month will be 300 ringgit. Okay, so this is the limit 300 ringgit. So by the end of the month, like let's say in the beginning of the month, there must be 300 ringgit. At the end of the month, let's say I spend 200 ringgit. So 300, you buy at 200, I only got 100 ringgit dalam baki situ. So what I'm going to do now is, I have to make it 300. This is a system budget. So how much have I add? I have to add another 200 ringgit to make it 300. So I have to top up 200 ringgit. So this is what we call system budget. Always, there must be enough figure. This figure in the draw worker or whatever for the buku tunan ringgit purpose. Okay, do you understand? If yes, give me a panjar. P-A-N-J-A-R. Panjar in the chat box. A system panjar for you. Okay, so whenever we say BTR, BTR, I mean, buku tunan runcit, buku tunan runcit, is always menggunakan system, apa? System mengikut system panjar. All right? System panja doesn't work in buku tunai, ya. only work in buku tunai runti. Okay, now the next question is, eh, hey, cikgu, you sudah ada buku tunai, kenapa sekarang ada lagi satu buku tunai runti? Okay, why don't we just use satu benda panggil buku tunai? Okay, the reason being is, buku tunai runti is berkaitan dengan amount yang kecil. Okay, when you look carefully, all these amount are very pretty small, 9, 13, 50 ringgit. But when you compare back to the previous question, when you look at buku tunai, all is like 1,800 ringgit, 250, 1,200. You see the difference or not? So for buku tunai, we record for amount yang for business use, all right? A little bit besar. But for buku tunai ringgit, are those that you go and drink data rate, 250 ringgit. Uh -huh, that one you pay from buku tunai ringgit. You know what I mean? You, you use grab card, 20 ringgit, buku tunan runcit. Uh, you go and buy stamp, A4 paper from the bookstore. You use buku tunai runcit because those are like 10 ringgit, 20, 50 ringgit. Okay? But then when you say you spend 500 ringgit, you buy a 500 ringgit, and then that one you need to put inside your buku tunai. You spend 2,000 ringgit for gaji, 2,000 ringgit. Then you record that on buku tunai. Do you faham the, the difference between these two? Buku tunai BT and BTR. Buku tunai runci. Okay, if boleh faham, give me an F first in the chat box. F for faham. Okay, so let's do the question. As you do the questions, uh, you find out the exact uh, point. Okay, the exact line to differentiate between buku tunai and buku tunai runci. You will see later. Okay, so let's continue. So after you've done all these things, okay, let's start from October 4. So October 4. So October 4, you buy apa? Pen dan pencil. Okay, pen dan pencil. And I still remember my tuition teacher always reminded us for this buku tunai runci. Give yourself maximum three words in the buti run. Okay, tiga perkataan. So like for this one, ngam ngam lah. Okay, tiga perkataan. Satu, dua, tiga. So okay. If you see like empat lima punya, you try to shorten down to three. Okay, maximum three dalam buti run ini. Okay, so pen and pencil, how much? Nine ringgit. Okay, but before that, before that, before that, okay, sorry, forgotten. All right. How can you buy it when you don't have money in your buku tunai runci, right? Okay, so 
read again. So ada wang permulaan 250 dipenduk uh, sebagai dana tunai runci penilaian wang daripada ini read daripada kata juru wang dilakukan pada awal bulan berikutnya. So in the beginning of the month, okay, October 1, kita dapat duit daripada uh, kata juru wang. So daripada bank lah. Okay, so here you put bank. So you kita tapa berapa ringgit? Wang pun two hundred fifty ringgit. So in the penerimaan here you put two five oh. So put here you put bank. All right. So first in the beginning of year you tapa two hundred fifty. After you tapa two hundred fifty ringgit, then you can spend. Okay. So now you go to October fourth. You buy untuk pen and pencil. So how much you buy? Ah? Nine ringgit. So dalam pembayaran lah, right? Okay, now after you buy nine ringgit, you need to analyze this nine ringgit pen and pencil belongs to which one? Is it alat tulis or belanja belanja post atau belanja pejabat? So definitely, this nine ringgit pen and pencil is alat tulis. So nine ringgit you put here. So when you're doing this, okay, this is something similar to which one? To your Journal penerimaan tunai dan journal pembayaran tunai. Remember the part for journal penerimaan dan pembayaran tunai. Here, alright, you pay for two thousand six hundred. Okay, so what is two thousand six hundred for? What or for Berlin? Then you put Berlin two thousand six hundred. So it's the same thing. Okay. Okay. So now we go to uh, our last major. Bayar thirteen ringgit. Alas, manager definitely bukan alat tulis. Alat tulis are all the pencil, papers, belanja post, post. Oh, ada berkenaan dengan post ah? Tak ada. Then definitely thirteen. Uh, alas, manager will be dalam belanja pejabat lah. Alright, thirteen ringgit. Okay, then eighteen. Pembaikan komputer pejabat. Okay, pembaikan komputer pejabat Okay, how much? 50 ringgit. So you buy uh, for this thing 50 ringgit. Is it alat tulis? No. Is it a post? No. Then we put in under belanja pejabat. Are you following? If yes, give me 18 1 8 in the chat box. So you see this one is actually very, very simple. Do buku tunai runci. Okay. 19. Let's go. 19 kertas carbon. Kertas carbon. So this kertas carbon. Uh, 19 ringgit. You put pembayaran. Pay for this thing. 19 ringgit. So... Kertas what? Alright, kertas we include in the alat tulis 19 ringgit. 19, okay, 19, then 23rd, you add us, okay, now look at this one. You got four items, sampu, surat, dan stamp. Okay, so if you ask me, I still don't know how. <laughs> because there are four items. Okay, so for this one, I think there's no way to, to make it shorter, right? It's just some post surat and stamp. Okay, so I don't care, okay? Even though I remember my teacher said you need to maximum three words, but sometimes if you can't sh sh make it shortcut, then you just copy what you see from the question. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy back with some post surat. Done. Stamp. Okay, what I mean is like this one. Okay, when you see Berlin machine daftar tunai. Okay, these are four words, right? Okay, so can we try to make it three words? Yes, you can cancel out this Berlin. So you just write machine daftar tunai. Okay, that's what I mean. All right, but for this one, it's sampo, surat, and stamp. So all these four words are actually very important. So when all these four words are very important, then you need to include in it. All right? So, sendiri agak lah, okay? Don't try to fix your, your mind in just one part, one way. 
okay if it's on the way then no way no it's not like that so like that be a bit flexible sometimes you need to jump out and then come back again all right so that's how it works so six so you pay six ringgit so some post short and stand definitely stand ma. Stem, you know what stem, right? Ah, it's in the Belanger post. 25th. Kunti Pajabat. Kunti Pajabat, 24 ringgit. Kunti Pajabat, 24 ringgit. Then you think, oh, is it allowed to list? I don't think so. Is it a Belanja post? Is it berkaitan dengan post? No. Then, we throw it into the Belanja Pejabat. So, Belanja Pejabat is something like a Belanja arm. Alright? Because Belanja, Belanja Pejabat is quite big. Okay? Apa yang berkaitan dengan Pejabat, then we throw it into Belanja Pejabat. Okay? So, we put 24. Okay, after 25th, 27. Bunga Meja Pejabat Bunga Meja Pejabat 26 ringgit You pay 26 Then 26 Definitely not allowed to this Bunga uh, Posa Memang bukan right So you show in the Belanja Pejabat <coughs> Sometimes if you don't know what it is You just If you're not sure which one it is then you just do the cancel out. So if you try to think, you reason. Bunga pejabat bagaimana alat tulis? What is for alat tulis? Alat tulis is like pencil, pen, ruler, all this yang can write on. Bunga. Memang tak ada berkaitan. Then you try to think for belanja post. Post is like what? Your post lah, do all those things. You, you deliver, you, you send stuff. Alright? So all these things normally bagaimana dengan apa? Surat, stamp. Okay, ini bunga memang tak berkaitan. So, the only choice will be here. Okay, so for 29 now, alatan baru pejabat. Okay, now, take note. You cannot throw everything into a buku dan runcit. Because you need to remember that two things here is either buku tunai or buku dan runcit. All these things adalah berkaitan dengan tunai dan bank. Alright? So when you see something like this, how do we know if this is for buku tunai? Look at this amount, 700 ringgit. Yeah. See, yeah, this 700 ringgit. Uh. If I put my 700 ringgit here, I buy 700 ringgit. Now you try to use your common sense to reason, to think. Do we have enough money in our buku tunai runcit to pay for 700 ringgit? See how much we have. And see the, the amount that we have to pay. Enough or not? If enough, you give me yes in the chat box. If not enough, you say no in the chat box. What do you think? Enough or not? Davi won't say no. Rose say no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shiva say no. Jay say no. Santaria say no. Dina say no. Davi, Tivina, Khadija, Mayam, Alex. Okay, very good. All of you say no. Yes, you only got 250. How are you going to buy 700 ringgit with your stuff? All right, just like saying you only got 100 ringgit in your bank account and you want to go and buy a Mercedes Benz car for like 400,000 ringgit. Possible or not? Not possible at all, isn't it? All right, so that is how we differentiate whether to record in Buku Tunai Runci or record in Buku Tunai. So from here, how do we see? Look at the amount. One permulaan, the system panja 250. So 250 is the money that we got in the buku tunai ringgit. Therefore, whatever amount that is more than the 250 ringgit, we don't need to record in buku tunai ringgit. We record in where instead? We record in the buku tunai. Now, do you understand for 29 or not? If yes, give me 29 in the chat box. So we don't need to record this one. Okay, good. All right, so we skip 29, we go to 30. So 30 is what? Pewangi. Pengawi is like those F 
uh, refresher, air freshener, you know. So pengawi pewangi sixteen ringgit. Okay, we can record because it's below the two hundred fifty ringgit. So sixteen. Um, is it alat tulis? No. Is it the post? No. So we include it in the belanja pejabat. Okay, after that would be the kertas. Dan that what fifteen. So definitely alat tulis lah. It nampak satu kertas ke situ. And then look at the thirty first. Okay, very simple question. Do we have to record? Which one do we record in? Is it the buku tunai? If you say it's buku tunai, you put BT in the chat box. If you say we record here in buku tunai runcit, you give me BTR in the chat box. Which one do you think we record in? Hmm. Lala BT, BT, BT. Hey, I see a BTR. I think Debbie must have accidentally add another tree. Uh, R in front, okay. She just want a B T, but accidentally put another extra R at the back. All right. So it's actually B T. Why? Because when we look at our one permulaan is two hundred fifty ringgit. All right. But how much is this? Six hundred. If we only got two hundred fifty ringgit in the buku tu nanti ringgit, can we pay for six hundred or not? Definitely no. Okay, so six hundred ringgit is more than the two hundred fifty. Therefore, this one we recommend. Kita record dalam awal buku tunai. Do you understand? Ah, if yes, give me a thirty one in the chat box. Ayah. Okay. Good. Okay. So that's all. All right, so if that's all, then we close it. So how do we close? So here, your line. The line here. Then you jumlahkan. So slowly, this will be 250. Then you jumlahkan the pembayaran here. This will be 178. Then jumlahkan arah tulis ya semua. Jumlahkan 43. 6. And 1 to 9. Alright. After that, for this one, for all the analysis from buyer run, we can put one line, number line already. And that okay, that's the end. Okay, now to check the answer here, maybe sometimes we did some error either here or here or here or here. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna use 43 plus 6 plus 1 to 9. You add this three up, see if you get 178 or not. Okay, 43 plus 6 plus 1 to 9. Then you get 178. Eight exact amount here. All right, it must be the same because you need to know that the analysis buyer run are the figures taken out from the perm buyer run here. So like nine will be nine here, thirteen will be thirteen here. So at the end, the jumlah sini must be the same as this one, one seven eight. All right, just letting you know. Okay, after that, you skip a line. So here you skip a line here. Then here you put a jumla, one line, double line again. And now it would be like your the buku to like that. Okay, so see which side which side is bigger? Is it the penerimaan or the pembayaran lebih besar? So definitely the penerimaan, 250, right? So 250. So here the jumla must be the same. So here will be 250 juga. Okay, so 250, 250. Is equal already. So here that equal, right? So 250. How do we get this figure? So I need to use 250 minus 178. I get 72 ringgit. All right. So this 72 ringgit is our baki HP. Just like your buku tonight, like that. So this will be the last day of the month. 
So down in October, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 here, right? Meaning, besar. Besar maksud apa? Ada 31 hari. So October, the last day will be 31st. Are you following or not? If yes, give me another F in the chat box. <clears throat> Following, give me an F in the chat box. Okay, so I said before, if you still remember, when there is a Bucky HB, there must be a Bucky BB. So here there is a HB, and now I need to do a BB. Okay, so the BB will be in the next month. Okay, so October 1st, the next month will be when? November, right? November Satu. All right. So next month, the beginning of the month, November Satu. Okay, so BB, which figure do we put here or here? So 72 is in the credit side. When we bring to the BB, always to the opposite side. If it is credit HB, then it must be debit BB. All right. If it is debit HB, then it must be credit BB. So here we jump to the other side. The 72 will be here. All right. Okay. And lastly, don't forget, okay, we are not done yet. Because of the system panja, I say, but it must be where? Back to the one permulaan. The one permulaan for this question is 250. This pound, sorry. RM, 250. But now, bulky kita hanya 72 ringgit. Remember the, the contoh tadi I give for Bob? Okay. When there is only 50 ringgit, but my limit for it is 100 ringgit. So I have to top up the balance, the other 50 ringgit to make it 100 ringgit. So now, tell me. I only got 72 ringgit in the baki, so I need to top up how much to get 250. Let's see. 178. Oh. Yes. More, more. Okay. Divina and Alexei is 178. How do we get 178? So very simple. We're just going to use this one for Mulan 250 minus the baki. How much is the baki? 72 ringgit. So when you use 250 minus 72, you get 178. So this 178, we put in the Penerimaan. 178. So this one will be from bank. So from here, my Penerimaan there, the debit side will be how much again? 72 plus 178, 250 again. Then we can ready to go. Okay, for another one month for November. So 250, the process go again. And maybe I need to buy a few more pen, I need to buy uh sample, surat, and stamp, and so on. All right, so go on and on. And then at the end, see how much is the balance, the bucky, and then we top up another uh amount to get 250. Do you understand question nine? So this is the complete answer. If you understand and you're good with it. Give me a nine in the chat box for question nine. <clears throat> uh, how did I get 72? Hold on, yeah. Okay. Saina, how did I get 72? So here you saw this one, 250 and 178. I get it from the Joomla. So 250, so you add up, you get 178. So after that, you need to skip a line. All right. And then you put the Joomla, one line, double, double line. As here, you can see. So you need to compare between the debit and credit side, which one is bigger. All right. So you see 250 definitely is a bigger amount. So you put it here in the Joomla, 250. So when I say the Joomla, the Joomla must be the same amount. So when the debit is 250 ringgit, then the credit must be 250 ringgit as well. All right, so how do I get this 72? Very simple. In order to make it 250 in the credit side, how much do I have to add? I need to use 250 
minus 178, I get 72. So when you add these two, you get 250 as well. So this is how I get 72. So once you get this 72 for Bucky HP, you must bring it down to the BB72 ringgit. So do you understand now? Uh, sign up. All right, no problem. Okay, so the rest, okay, right? Okay, yeah. So if the rest, okay, then I'll continue. All right, I'll continue to question 10. Let's do question 10 together. So in question 10, sediakan buku tunai runcit and here you perlu ada alat tulis, belanja post, belanja tambang, dan belanja arm. Okay, so here we got four analysis by around here. Okay, so I'm going to do some lazy work. Just copy and paste, but you guys make sure you draw the box again. So here, um, Same thing, there's no voucher, no voucher here, so I can skip it. And you must have penerimaan, pembayaran, alat tulis bayaran, I'm sorry, analysis bayaran, then you got alat tulis, belanja post. Okay, here the call it belanja tambang, we change to belanja tambang, so change it to belanja tambang, and belanja arm. All right, I gave you two minutes to complete this table. All right, then I will start. Okay, if you've done, give me a BTR in the chat box just to notify me. So I need to make sure like when you guys are done, then I'll go ahead and explain question 10. Okay, I'll give you two minutes, no worry, to 9.21. <coughs> <coughs> Um. <clears throat> All right, guys, if you're done, give me a BTR and you check out. Okay. 
right? So most of you have done. So I will continue. Okay. So very simple. So I think for those that have done uh, the this table, you can go ahead and do the question because it's similar. Okay. So before that, let me explain a little bit for you and we go through together. Okay, so Likkin. Sinyan berhak menyimpan buku dengan rinci mengikut sistem panjang. Is sistem panjang? You know, the limit thing. Okay, so like here, they given the one formula is how much? Trend ringgit. So trend ringgit is the limit. Yeah, the limit for this sistem panjang. Dia diperuntukkan sebagai dana dengan rinci. And penerima wang daripada kertas judul wang dilakukan pada awal bulan berikutnya. Menerima di bawah ini menunjukkan penggunaan wang sepanjang bulan Julai 2020. So this is the baki. 37 ringgit. Okay. So this is year 2020. Um, 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 um. Okay, so now it's July 1st. So when you see a Baki Tuna Runchit, so this is a Baki Awa, so we put Baki BB. Right, just like this one. From here, beginning. Baki BB, how much? 37 ringgit in the penerimaan. Not paying for anything yet. 37 ringgit is the penerimaan. Okay. And then they say there was a penerimaan tunai daripada ketua juru wang. You penerimaan tunai. So, tunai from tunai. Okay. So sometimes you see lah, okay, if here they didn't say is it a penerimaan wang, uh, penerimaan tunai or penerimaan daripada bank or check, then you can put either bank or tunai here. Okay, nothing wrong. Okay, but I prefer to put bank. Okay, but if you see you penerimaan check. Okay, so if they change the word to check, then you need to put what? Bank. Okay, because I told you the, the keyword for bank is check. Okay, but here there is what do you see? You see penerimaan tunai. So here you put tunai lah. All right. So how much? To give you a question mark here. So I have to find out our, uh, myself, ourself. All right. So I got balance 37 ringgit in the buku tunai run cheat. And the system panja the limit is 300 ringgit. So how do we get this figure? Very simple. How much do you have to top up? You use 300 ringgit minus 37. Then you will get how much? Okay, let's see. I see someone. Uh, okay, 263. Yes, 263. So 263 will be the figure, the amount, the 29 that I need to top up to get 300 ringgit. All right, so here we debit 263. Do you guys understand? If yes, give me 263 in the chat box, everyone. 263. Dua sem, oh sorry, dua enam tiga, dua enam tiga. Okay, very good. Okay, so next, then we can do the, the remaining, the following questions. Fifth, stem. So stem. It's not the stem cell or the stem you see in the, in the, uh, in the. Three is the stem. Okay, the stem that is uh, located is it left corner, or right corner? I think it's around right corner of the the upper right corner of your letter. Okay, so that's a stem. Twenty ringgit. You pay for twenty ringgit, and this stem is for post. So twenty ringgit. Don't burn your post. <laughs> Then 11th, Dakwa Machine Purchase. Dakwa Machine. Actually, I don't really know what is Dakwa, but I just assume, okay, because it's Machine Purchase. What is Machine Purchase? Machine Purchase is a printer. So if there is a word in front, it's either by key. By key means what? To fix the printer, Machine Purchase. But if you see a duck, what I will assume is a ink. 
Okay, something about it. All right, I'm not too sure. Maybe you can check out the dictionary later. But here, let's just assume is a uh, ink. But even if you don't know what is a dark what, you see the word machine pencheta. Nibi aratuliza. Not relevant at all. Okay, so out. Is it Belanja post machine pencheta and post? Nene. Okay, out. Tambang. Tambang is what? Just now I told you tambang is transport. Taxi, taxi fare lah. Uh, parking lah. Ticket, parking ticket lah. No, all these are berkaitan dengan car. Transportation. From one point to the other point. That is belanja tambang. Definitely no. Machine pencet Printer. How does printer uh, kaitan dengan belanja tambang? Okay. They are not related at all. So out. So the remaining one that I can put for this, that one machine project is which one? The belanja arm. And you see how, how I analyze it. Okay. So sometimes if you don't understand the word, you just do this thing. And I can tell you 90% you are right. Okay. So this is not the mini, mini money, more the, the guessing. All right. This guessing is more accurate the next level of guessing so you, if it is not this one then this one is it this one if it's not this one is it this one if it is not this one must be this one really the only one one and the only one okay so it works for your objective question as well your kata satu all right so if you know some fakta for that question okay so you look at a b c d a makes sense that if A not make sense, don't you, you cancel it out. Look at B. B maybe. Okay, skip it first. Look at C. C you are sure out and out C. Okay, then when you go to D, maybe you're not sure. Then you compare C and D. Then then you got 25%. Uh, okay, or 50% probability to get it correct. You know what I mean? So you compare B and D lah, then you think again. Uh, but B is like that, but D is like that. And then at the end, you choose the best answer. Uh, you don't go there and 10 bucks, just shoot. Uh, meaning you close your eyes. Like that. Do, 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 do. Okay, this one open. Oh, C. Okay, then you pick C. I slap your head if you do that. Okay, so let's continue. 15. Um, what is 15? Minuman pelanggan. Okay, minuman pelanggan. You get what I mean or not just now? Okay, what I explained just now, if you get it, give me a yes in the chat box. All right. This one, 15. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, wait. 15, 15, minimum pelanggan. 22 ringgit. So, again, minimum drink. Okay, not the drinking or not alcohol. Uh. Drink maybe minimum like what te tare, uh, kopi, ice. Okay, so I like to list. Belanja post, post ke? Tambang, taxi ke? Itu. Oh, sorry. Jadi tu lah belanja ah. All right, then next, 17, you buy a, ah, I see, buy a tambang taxi. So if you're lazy to write buy a, we can straight away write what? Tambang tax, taxi. So you can see that from here, we only record the kata nama instead of the kata kerja. Okay, let me repeat again. We just record the kata nama. We don't need to record the kata kerja. What is the kata kerja? Here lah. Buyer is a kata kerja what? So we can exclude it and just write the tambang taxi, 20 ringgit, 20 ringgit. Um, is that the list? Tambang, tambang, si tambang, the word tambang. Tambang lah, 20 ringgit. Okay, after that, oh sorry, 20. Ah, look at this one. Mus beli machine daftar tonight. 800 ringgit. Tell me where do we record this one? Is it the BT or BTR? Uh, let me test you again. This one you better type carefully, uh, you guys. You don't give me over, uh, over type. 
or you give me an extra alphabet at the back. <laughs> okay, so all of you give me a BT. Why BT? Why what is BT? Buku tunai lah. All right. Why recording buku tunai? A hundred, my brother. How much do you have? Three hundred ringgit only. You only got three hundred ringgit in the buku tunai Muji. Can you buy a hundred ringgit thing or not? Of course cannot lah. Imagine you only got two hundred ringgit. Your parents only give you two hundred ringgit. Can you go and buy a four hundred ringgit T-shirt ah? From uh, from Gucci ah? I cannot lah. Of course. Okay. So cannot record here lah. Ah, uh, out. Okay, so out, not out, meaning this one should be going to the buku tonight. All right, next. Oh, can't see this amount though. Let me raise it. This is how much? 60, okay. 60 ringgit. So what is 60 ringgit? You buy, you see, there are four items. I mean, sorry, four words here. Empat perkataan. So bayar upah kunci pejabat. Bayar ini can out, all right? So you put upah. Cuci pejabat. Twenty fifth. So twenty fifth is sixty ringgit for the upah cuci pejabat. Alat tulis no belanja, post no tambang, no belanja. Amlah sixty ringgit. Okay, see you again. Gaji kerani pejabat four fifty. You compare back with your this twenty ringgit. Yeah, no, no. Cannot, cannot then the new record. If you want to record, recommend it. Then book it tonight. All right, skip 27. Beli. Beli alat perhiasan pejabat. Beli. You need to write. Just straight away write. Apa? Alat perhiasan pejabat. No one is perhiasan, right? Perhiasan like decoration. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, office decorating equipment. Uh, direct translate for English. All right. So this is uh, what? How much is it? 40 ringgit. Pay 40 ringgit for this one. And uh, is it other than this? No. Is it the post? No. Is it tambang? No. Then pula jam. 40 ringgit. Sample surat, very simple one, 28. Sample surat. Ringgit. So surat. And it goes. Okay, then 30 is what? Post laju. Okay. Post laju. Tin ringgit. Post. Then lastly, copy. Oh, copy pun letak ke sini. Twenty ringgit. Copy. Raja amla. Okay. Done. So, after you done this one, jumlahkan. Everything in here. We. There's no other place here. Hmm. Yep, two five nine. Yes, you're right. I like this no and pressure. And then seven. Two okay, right. Mm. We see a surat, huh? Okay, take note of this one. We see some push surat. This nine ringgit. Sorry, I should put it here. Yeah, I like this. 
right? If you're wondering why, okay, I'll explain to you later, but please change this one. Okay, please change this part. Okay, look at this one carefully. Sampo surat. This is just a surat. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so this just was surat. Okay. This surat, when you buy a surat, does it mean that you're going to send letter to, to someone else? You're going to pose it Post a surat, you can use this surat for other purpose. You know what I mean? This surat, maybe I can put money in it. This surat, maybe I can put some document and give to my clients, my customers. Do you get what I mean, what I mean or not? Yes or no? Therefore, when you buy a surat, doesn't necessarily mean that I'm using it for post. Therefore, if you see just sampo surat, it is Allah to this actually. So would it be wrong if we put it as Belanja post? A question by a student. Uh, yes, it is wrong to put it in the Belanja post. All right, so you should put it in Allah to list. Okay, then when you check back to the previous one, when you see a sample surat and stamp, okay, this is different. Why? Because you see a stamp here. Maksudnya, this is actually for the purpose of post. Therefore, you put in the post. But when you see just a surat, then we record in alatulis. You get what I mean? Okay or not? If okay, give me okay. So this one you need to take note. All right, and one of the things is takkan. They purposely give you Allah to list, and there is no items for Allah to list in your card, isn't it? All right, so there must be something for this uh, Allah to list, isn't it? Therefore, uh, the item for this Allah to list in this question is a sample surat. So when you see a sample surat, then you put under the ala to this, not the Belanja post. But whenever you see stamp, confirm, 100% Belanja post. Right. Okay. Then there's another question. So, uh, can we not add the folio column in the table? Uh, can we? Not so the answer should be no. You have to include folio. Okay, just like all your general bullion, general jalan, all right, all those things. Can you say not? Even though I'm not using it, but I include it in it in the table. All right, so you should include the folio, even though we're not using it. Okay, but imagine if without the folio, you only got tare butiran jumla is a bit weird. Okay, so you just put, but then for those like number receipt, number voucher, if we don't have it, then we can exclude it. Okay, we don't have to include in the column. But for folio, okay, so far, what I have done from form four up until now, okay, when there is a folio, I will put that folio. All right, just in case. You know what I mean? So just put it there. I know it, like sometimes it's quite annoying because you need to, uh, use a lot of spaces up until here. All right, so like very wide and then you need to put one folio. Maybe there's not enough spaces for you, but you have to unguard yourself. All right, you agak agak sendiri lah. Okay, here about there, here about this much of space. Okay, so this is kind of a training. Therefore, you need to do questions. You see the point? If you don't do a questions, you know the format, no use. Because when you go to exam hall, you don't have time for you to do tries and error. Okay, you go there, you should you straight away need to draw the whole thing. That's why here, when I give you homework, you should do it. It's for your own practice. So you practice so you know, you get a, a feeling of it. You know, you got experience now. How to, uh, I got, I got, so for Tari, I should only leave this much of space. 
for Butiran, I should leave more. For Fola, I should leave about like that only because I'm not using it anyway. All right. Then for penerimaan, pembayaran, and this bayaran, all this I should leave a bit more because I'm putting in the figure there. I mean, so when you're practicing it, when you go to exam, now you, you know how. You know how much you need to leave. Then you can show we do. Then you'll be faster. Then you will have enough time. So for those students, always say that they don't have enough time while they're doing uh, their kertas dua for their principal kernel. Why? Because they don't have enough of, uh, they didn't do enough of exercises. You know what I mean? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box. All right, that's why I give you homework. Or else, I won't give at all. All right, why will I give you homework? Because me, myself, I don't like to do homework as well. But when the homework is given, I would do. Ah, okay, but of course, sometimes you see like, if this homework is worth or not. Okay, does it help me? But most of the time, I would just do the homework. I won't study much. I won't study less. But homework, I'll make sure I will complete it. All right? So, okay, next. After you completed the Joomla, okay, then make sure you double check the figure here. All right, so how do you double check? You Joomla can you add up all the analysis by Aaron? Nine plus 33 plus 20 plus 197. See if it equals to 259. Now. Yes, it is. So should be okay. Yeah. All right, and then here you close it up. One line on top, two lines at the bottom, one line, double lines. So that here, now you skip one line. Here you again do one line, double line. Okay, then same thing, you compare the debit with the credit. Which one is bigger? 300. So if the debit side is 300, credit side should be 300 as well. So how do I get 300? Here got 259. Here the missing figure will be, how do I get it? You use 300 minus the 259. Then you get 41. So this 41 will be your Baki HP. What is the last date of the July? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on top here. So this is big. Big means what? There, there are 31 days in July. Okay, so when there is a HB, there will be a BB. So after Baki, HB will be Baki, BB. So this will be, after July, the next month is August. 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 All right, so how much? 41, you bring down here, 41 here in the debit side. And how do I get this figure? Don't forget, a lot of students, they stop here. They stop at Baki BB, all right? But for questions like Buku Dunan Runjit, they want us to do another step, which is the top-up part, all right? Where you need to talk from where? Just like a previous question from 29. All right, so how much uh, do I need to top up? So I need to make it to 300 ringgit. Okay, and my balance, my baki is 41. I got 41 on hand now. So I'm minus 41, meaning I need to top up how much? I need to top up using 300 minus 41, you get 259. Uh, so 259 is the amount that we need to top up. So that's it for your Buku Tuhan Runjit. It's very, very easy. You just need to remember the format. That's all. Do we have to write HB and BB in the folio section? No, you don't have to write that in the folio section. You just follow like this one, okay? The folio here normally is empty. You don't need to write anything in the folio. The HB is in the booty run. 
the BB is in the position, just like what I show you here. Okay, you get it? Everyone, if okay, give me a okay in the chat box. Yes, very good, everyone. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so this one I'll just re remove this highlight. So run done. Okay, I'll give you another one minute to complete. Okay, so for those that haven't done, uh, maybe you can take four. So I'll give you one minute. So at the same time, for those that have done, you can take out the workbook. Okay. One ringgit to the other students. I mean, one ringgit, but like one minute. All right, is everyone done? If done, give me done in the chat box. Everyone, if you have done, give me D O N E done. Okay, cool. Okay, so I think today nothing much actually. So we have uh, cover what we have to cover today. The put on green sheet. So now I'll give you homework. So sometimes I will take up your time. Okay, but sometimes I give you. Uh, let you leave the class earlier but sometimes if uh, you have to stay back for a little more while then you need to lah. all right so this is like plus and minus okay so page 90 uh, sorry page 68 page 68 you have to do question okay 68, do question 23, you know, very simple. All right, question 23, the cheat. Okay, then I will add another question 24 for you. Question 24. Question 24 is a document, but this document is very straightforward. All right, this question 24, you see all the document are voucher 29 rune cheat. Okay, so you just straight away translate, transfer all the amount from this voucher to run sheet into your book to run sheet. Okay, so, so it's another question of book to run sheet. After that, do question 25. Question 25, you have to do what? Two things now. You see, A and B, the A is book to nine, and the B is book to run sheet. So you need to uh differentiate la. okay one is for you have to see minus two for buku to nine minus two for buku to nine range okay so that is question 25 and last question okay will be on page you go to page seventy seven and do Question 28. Now, this is like something like a real exam question. Question 28. So question 28, they will give you a lot of Manglumat, Urus Niaga from March 1 sampai March 28th. And then you need to do the Buku Chatan Pertama. So in the Buku Chatan Pertama, I'm talking about question 28, yeah, 
on page 77. So in that buku catatan pertama, you have to do A, jenis am, B, jenis jualan, C, jenis belian, D, jenis pulangan jualan, E, pulangan belian, F, buku tunai, dan the last one, buku tunai rumci. So you need to see which one is for which one. Okay? So that's all for your homework. All right, have you noted down? If you have noted down, give me a noted in the chat box. N O T E D, noted. Okay, great. So in next class, okay, what we're gonna do in next class? I will do a last class for this chapter, chapter four, buku cerdam pertama. Okay, so in next class, I will teach you how to go from document to buku yang pertama like all the journal and so on and this is very important from document so i believe a lot of students still don't know i really have one topic the document for document right okay so you know which one which document is which document but i haven't taught you guys on how to change from that document transfer the maklumat from that document into buku cian pertama, right? So in next class, I will teach you that one, All right? So like when you look at invoice, so when you see the invoice, should I record in journal bulan or journal jualan? You know what I mean? So when you see a receipt, where should I record it? Ah, uh, when you see a a bill tonight, where should I record it? Okay, so in next class, I will explain this step by step. All right. So I think that's all for today's class, and make sure you do the homework. And I will see you in the next class. All right. So you may leave now, leave early today. Okay. So see you guys. Goodbye. And thank you.